Are you debating becoming a pilot in your 30s or 40s and whether a career change at this age is worth it? I'm going to break it down for you in this video. Welcome back aviators! I just finished my Boeing 737 training, so I'm back to making regular content for you guys. Hopefully you're following along my training journey on Instagram. If you're new here, on this channel I take the mystery out of the aviation industry. So consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future episodes. This week is all about whether you should start your flight training in your 30s and 40s. We'll talk about time frames, pay, and the best career strategies to ensure that you have a successful and healthy pilot career that matches up with your family's lifestyle. Let's get into it. Let's start with a timeline of how long it will take you to start working as a pilot if you started your flight training today. For flight training you have two paths, the modular path or the integrated pilot program. Check out my video about the difference between the two. The goal is to finish your flight training as quickly as possible to be able to capitalize on the current pilot shortage. A realistic timeline to finish your commercial pilot's license with a multi-IFR rating is two years. Then you would get your first job. For your first job, becoming a flight instructor is the easiest path. Because they are in such high demand and flight schools can't keep flight instructors long enough because they are all leaving for the regionals. Which will also be your goal. If teaching isn't your thing then any entry level job will do. Just make sure that the company has enough flying for you, as the goal now is to build a thousand hours as quickly as possible. In Canada, right now, regional airlines only require a thousand hours for you to become a first officer in a Dash 8 Q400, and there are rumors of that number going even lower. So to build those thousand hours will take you another two years, and you are now four years into your pilot career. Not bad when only 4 years ago you didn't know the difference between an elevator and an aileron. Next, let's talk about your return on investment, as that is usually the first question people ask when making a career change. I have a detailed video on this topic, so after watching this video, check that out as well. All the videos I mention will be linked in the cards above. Basically, pilot training will cost you between sixty and $80,000. The range is so broad because not everyone will be able to train full time. All flight schools charge different rates and it depends whether you choose a pilot program or not. Either way you have to figure out how you will finance your training. If you have savings that is the best way to get your flight training accomplished because if you can get your pilot's license with no or minimal debt that will be a big advantage at the start of your pilot career. If you do have to take a loan though it might take you a while to pay that back. Entry level pilot wages are quite low. For example, flight instructors start at $25 an hour and a first officer on a Q400 starts at $39,000 a year. If you had a $60,000 loan and you somehow managed to pay off $1,000 a month, which is half of your paycheck by the way, it would take you 5 years to pay that back, not including any interest. So as you can see the return on investment is quite poor, especially when you take into account the first challenging 5 years. That's why if you can finish flight training debt free that will be a huge advantage. Lastly let me give you some career strategies that I think you should consider when making a career change in your 30s or 40s. Aviation is a simple game of math. And you can determine which pilot career path is right for you by subtracting your current age from your retirement age. Airline pilots can fly past 65, so if you are 30 years old and you plan on flying until you are 65 years old, your potential is 35 years. From the timeline we talked about earlier, we know it will take you 4 years to get a regional job, that leaves 31 years. To upgrade to captain at a regional airline will take you 3 years so 28 years remaining. You will spend 4 years as a regional captain before having the opportunity to move up to the mainline, leaving you 24 years of flying jets. On average it takes 10 years to become a jet captain, leaving you 14 years. Most airline pay scales top out at year 12, so basically you have maximized your income potential and hopefully planned correctly for your retirement, 
and then lose half in a divorce. Check out this video. This is the best case scenario, and you can do the math based on your current age. If you are starting in your late 30s or early 40s, you can still have a successful aviation career, but the airlines might not be the best strategy. Another direction is flying corporate or private jets. The pay is not as high as a 12-year captain at an airline, but you start making more money a lot sooner. The reason being everything at an airline is seniority based and you have to wait your turn when it comes to airplane types or the bases that you get to pick. However, flying corporate, there's no seniority system and you can pick the airplane type or city that you live in based on your experience level. Another option is to stay captain at a regional airline, but then again, the pay tops out a lot lower, around $120,000 a year and you work a lot. The last option is to keep flying past 65 at a smaller company. As long as you pass your medical, there are no age restrictions. So some pilots after a successful airline career choose to keep flying past 65 at smaller companies. Either they become flight instructors, charter pilots, or fly corporate. In conclusion, should you start your pilot training in your 30s or 40s? The answer is yes. The aviation career is hotter than ever, and now is an excellent time to take advantage of this opportunity. However, make sure you have a financial plan in place and determine if this career will match your family's lifestyle. When your family is used to you being home every single day, and now all of a sudden you are gone 16 days a month, that can cause strains on your relationships. So I hope this gave you good insight and helped you make an informed decision. If you need more guidance, check out my Patreon page. There you can get exclusive benefits like one-on-one -on -one mentoring, early access to videos, and the ability to talk to me about your career in person. Smash like if you enjoyed this video, hit that little notification bell to get notified of my next video, and I'll see you in the next episode.